Hi, this is Dustbox Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Buck Rogers Matrix Cubed. We've wandered around the Mars prison some more off camera. We're currently in the Envirocell near the south edge of the main prison level. And we finally found some Desert Runner inmates that maybe we can talk into joining us. So let's stand. One convict talks, but you learn nothing new. They follow the team. So let's uh, let's retreat. And this time the dogs move off. You know, like the last several times they were fighting us. Yeah. And that quite large method message probably means that the computer thinks we have enough inmates who have joined us that we can probably take on that guard robot. But I really wanted to have both Desert Runners and Lowlanders joining us, as well as the Tureens. I'm not sure how long the Tureens will stick with us, but the Desert Runners and Lowlanders probably will. Now this is the... We go through this door, and we go north and then in the far northeast corners where the guard robot is. So I'm going to save again here. Yep, that's the room. Through the grill, you see a guard robot. Ready? Yeah, a robot defends a roof hatch. Kane bursts into action. He charges the robot. Before it acts, he vaults off it to the hatch above him. It's gone. Oh, joy. So we're leading a bunch. Now is leading a bunch of desert runners and lowlanders. And Jorah's leading some lowlanders, too. Okay, so we need to... Get people around the combat robot who can do some damage and then get everybody else out of the way. Of course, at this point, no. Nah. Oh crap. Not a terribly good position. Oh, what did I do that for? I meant to have Brandis Soleil attack.
now. Well, that alliance with Killer Kane didn't last very long. Basically, he helped us fight the guard dog Jennings, and that was about it. Yeah, I don't know if it's the smartest thing in the world having the party members being the ones surrounding the combat robot. And I still can't move Scotty out of the way. Yeah. I guess the nice thing about the... Well, the Desert Runners have a greater movement allowance than the Lowlanders do. So it's easier to move them out of the way, but I suspect I probably have a lot more Lowlanders following the group than I do desert runners. Well, it looks like these guys have a movement allowance of 12 and I I think maybe in the first game they might have had a movement allowance of just 10. Ow. That's a long range plasma thrower.
And of course, I have not dumbed down the difficulty at all, either. Oh, Buck still has his gun, thank goodness! Yeah, this is one of the ones that got injured by that first plasma thrower blast. Yeah, we want to get these people behind walls where the plasma thrower can't get them. Okay, I think that's the bottom of the map. Okay, and that's the edge of the map there. Well, Scotty still can't quite escape because there's that lowlander blocking the exit. I just heard a sound that sounded a bit like DOSBox Dog, but I'm not seeing her. Yeah, this battle is going to take a while since we're trying to tackle the combat robot barehanded. Next time I get a chance, I'm going to see how many hit points the robot is down to. shocked! <laughs> the Hulk is a ladder to the hatch above. Go up? Sure. Okay, let's save here. And somehow <laughs> we fooled that combat robot into attacking I guess some of our allies farther away rather than the party members surrounding the robot itself. And notice no more killer cane. Darn. So now we're on 
level two. And we need to leave this room. Okay. Should be a surveillance room through that door. You burst into the prison surveillance room. Technicians look up astounded. They're here! Alarm! Yeah, you notice the terrines that supposedly had joined us for the big breakout? They're gone. Okay, well, at least we're not fighting more combat robots, I hope. Maybe we're leaving some desert runners and lowlanders. Okay, we've got Ram Guard Dog Jennies. Yeah. Okay, there's some terrain warriors. Group there, group there, and a group up close. Okay, good. Okay, we'll have Hosita aid Jora. Okay, we got that one. Uh, just having him run around just to give him something to do.
Oh good, we got another guard dog out. Oh, that's one of our allies that just bit the dust. Got a herself. Yeah, one of the lowlanders got hurt. That's not good. At least the Tyrenes don't have armor, as far as I know. Right. Oh no! Podcane's down! Okay. Well, we'll finish this battle off camera. Hopefully, Podcane isn't comatose or anything. And we'll continue exploring the upper level of the Mars prison in the next episode. So we will see you then.